Okay, here we are again, test three. Um, cell's relatively warm, um, so we'll fire it up again. And again, it's been backed up by the car. As you can see, I'm getting some foam. But the terminals are all insulated, so it really doesn't make a lot of difference unless you're getting crossover. And as you can see, the thermo siphon has started up and the liquid is ripping around that tube, recirculating around the cell. So, uh, we'll try it. And it's coming up for... Go. That's five seconds. So you can see we're producing a lot of uh, gas. And we're 12.3 volts, 17 amps, 16 amps. And we're 30 seconds. 35 45 seconds Pull the tube off and let that out Again, we're 15 amps. Actually, it's just clicked off. Sort of just under 12 volts. 15 to 17 amps. And I'm going to have to do something about this foaming. I've got some ideas. And you see the sort of gas production I'm getting. Again, the uh, car is backing up um, what I'm taking out of the battery. And as I say, the foam really, really isn't a big deal. It's not doing anything. Um, it's not shorting anything out. The only thing is if it transfers over into the bubbler, which it has done, you can see it's a little uh, discolored. And occasionally you can see the foam going over but anyway I can fix that let's uh, have another production try looking at the stopwatch down there and it's just coming up to zero now five seconds ten 15 25 30 42 so as the cell warms up, um, the production eventually gets up to around two liters a minute and uh, should stabilize the. Now we're showing 14 amps and 12 and a quarter volts. And I say that was um, reasonable. We'll try it again.
the uh, second hand get up to the top and here we go now again 11 and a quarter volts 15 amps and that's uh, 15 seconds Thirty seconds. Again, thirty eight, thirty eight seconds. <laughs> 